जय श्री राम वॉट इज योर हैप्पीनेस प्रोफाइल आई कंसिडर माई सेल्फ ए हैप्पीनेस रिसर्चर सो हैप्पीनेस इज वॉट वी आर ऑल आफ्टर एंड ऑल ऑफ अस हैव आर ओन डेफिनेशंस नो डाउट बट लेट अस टेक ए गुड लुक क्लोज लुक एट आवर ओन हैप्पीनेस प्रोफाइल्स सो आई थिंक ए लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर इंक्लूडेड हियर i'll just ask you a few questions uh, i have compiled from various sources after doing quite a bit of reading hmm. okay do you sometimes wish uh, that there should be more than 24 hours in a day <laughs> i often pray to god to increase the day by a couple of hours because 24 hours is not sufficient i have so much to read and so much missed out hmm? and uh, Yes, and somebody said happiness is being engaged, immersed in any tiring activity. Very simple definition. Okay. If you could move to any other part of the uh, of your uh, country or to any other part of the world, which one? Uh, where would you would you do so? Would you do so? The question, and then which one? And why? okay i don't want to uh, dilate on the answers here hmm? uh, i think we are all capable enough to understand you know if you are wishing to move from a place to become happy there are two ways to look at it unless that place is a real shit hole <laughs> otherwise uh, you cannot be happy just by moving to another place the mind can make a hell out of heaven or a heaven out of hell so i think you must have your own bubble or a separate strong room where you can you know be all on your own insulated from the rest of the world you can hang out a sign do not disturb and lock yourself in so that they none can contact you so i think that is a room of your own you must have a room of your own do you enjoy the company of other people or do you well i don't personally because most people i meet are very shallow uh, do you sleep well do you sleep well do you have any phobias hmm? uh, do you have a, a sense of gratitude for all that you have received in your life uh, in which case you should be willing to serve everybody right kritagne nasti nishkriti there is no atonement for ingratitude from ramayana lakshmana says so and the whole of sanatan dharma is trying to teach us that we are all indebted to anonymous millions of anonymous human beings and even animals and trees so sanatan dharma teaches that happiness lies in serving others and that's the message of the bhagavad gita also oh anyway ah uh, is your relationship with uh, your wife or spouse happy hmm. do you wish that you could have a bigger house or apartment eh? are you happy with the house that you have or are you planning to buy more houses and plots <laughs> the answer is obvious yeah. how is your general health are you fit hmm? or obese eh? yeah. so if you are fit you will be happier if you have no control on your senses you overeat and then rationalize on the grounds that it is genes <laughs> i have heard many people doing this or thyroid uh, thyroid uh, why does the malfunction malfunction come about check that so lifestyle it's a problem of lifestyle are you fit the question is are you fit fat is not fit okay uh, do you feel that life is uh, uh, worth living or is it not worth living Hmm. how cynical are you do you like uh, the neighborhood in which you live hmm. uh, have you good anger control or uh, are you very touchy crotchety irritable hmm. uh, is there someone are there people whom you actively dislike <laughs> hmm. uh, are you in a happy job do you love the job that you do or are you in a business which you love hmm. uh, uh, are you free from noise pollution and other types of pollution okay 
uh, are you optimistic do you look at the bright side when things go wrong eh? um, uh, and then what next uh, let us see what more mm. uh, how was your upbringing what do you say about that was it happy did you have all the normal joys of childhood mm. do you take lot of pills are you a pill popper taking aspirin headache pain killing drugs hmm? do you have a confidant your wife or spouse with whom you can confide everything of course sometimes that's not possible but then most of it hmm. yeah you should have one person one confidant at least uh, uh, do you have lot of physical exercise physical activity sedent or sedentary lifestyle or you, do you keep dumbbells have a small gym at home maybe one or two pieces of equipment you do not have to have a full gym a small chest press and leg press and a couple of dumbbells is more than sufficient are you constantly incorporating exercise exercise in, into your life if not then please start doing that uh, are you artistic do you indulge in some painting or some creative hobby hmm? do you eat meat Uh, do you if you are eating meat that means you are a murderer you are killer you are killing the chicken and lamb and all that you eat the beef or whatever all these animals love life they want to live life and you are a scoundrel so slitting their necks uh, and then eating them <laughs> you should be a horrible mean monster to do that how can you be happy after creating misery death fear to any being for that matter Uh, do you like uh, do you feel at ease within a crowd of uh, strangers okay and how do you approach problems do you have uh, an analytical approach hmm? do you take uh, all problems as challenges hmm? uh, do you take a break and go out go away from home hmm? once in a while Uh, are you suffering from any kind of uh, illness which is actually spoiling your pleasure in life uh do you love uh, music classical music not this uh, pop or rap uh, or punk uh, junk and all that uh, are you deeply moved by music poetry or other works of art do you have a consuming hobby uh, how good are you in communicating with people hmm Uh, out of a scale of 10 1 to 10 how much would you grade yourself how many marks will you give yourself are you are you able to communicate effectively uh, uh, do you have your own room i'm repeating this question at home do you have some room where you can lock yourself away from the rest of the world where you can have your books and indulge in your hobbies quietly hmm? is that there hmm. uh what next um do you, have you furnished uh, your home and uh, your room uh, and decorated it with mottos hmm, which you uh, love to look at and make sure that you memorize them hmm? do you take the stairs when you go to any building that is again incorporating exercise into your normal life do you feel bursting with health and vitality and energy or are you feeling run down sleep well do you sleep well would you given an opportunity be a politician a good one hmm? uh do you have any psychological mental problems huh? do you visit uh, do you have to go to a psychologist do you read the bhagavad gita are you subscribing to any desert cult which by which i mean islam and christianity which i think are uh, terrible because their dogmas are totally untenable if you are still subscribing that means you are a hypocrite you may have not read them perhaps i can give you that much as a concession if you read them you should give up yeah? because they teach only lechery butchery treachery and proselytization convert the other fellow or kill him that's exactly written in this in their holy books yeah because you have to hate the other fellow you are taught to hate the infidel and you can't hate others and still be happy so uh, they are mutually exclusive you can't hate others why do you have to convert others because you think they are inferior horrible pagan heathen gentile kafir kufar is the plural 
so and they are najis najis means fecal matter shit to be literal so this is what they are taught and if you are hating others uh, how can you be happy yourself so you cannot entertain both hate and happiness in the same mind it's not possible so please think about it uh, i have read all those books and that's why i'm able to talk confidently i have not abused anybody hmm? hope you are not offended with this simple question if you still have not read you can come and sit with me i'll show you what is wrong with these religions hmm. are you a difficult boss hmm? are you tough to get on with it doesn't matter think about it okay how has life been to you challenging and rewarding hmm? uh, do you see a lot of compensations in life do you have any good hobby avocation creative pastime do you love good food uh, uh, and uh, are you advancing advancing in your job and profession uh, do you love all the good things of life or are you a purist and puritanical prude who says that uh, sex is sin and uh, 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 you are a bonzinar <laughs> uh, uh, do you believe in the uh, hindu concept that every soul is potentially divine uh, and, and education should be the process of manifesting that divinity with the, which is innate within you uh, if you subscribe to this belief that all all souls all humans irrespective of the race and class and incidentally we don't have caste system in hinduism but that has been foisted on us we have kulam we have jati kulam is profession family profession jati is family lineage or pedigree pedigree means when you come from a distinguished lineage so uh, jati jati is family tree lineage and pedigree lineages are also there and then you have varna which is the psychological temperament like the mbti eh? mbti Uh, mbti has identified 48 krishna tells you that there are infinite combinations of personalities uh, which consist of uh, different proportions of uh, sattva guna raja guna and tamo guna so that is the most scientific uh, typology of human personalities okay so that is varna varna is psychological temperament gotra is again scientific descent from a common male ancestor so we hindus are all descendants of rishis some 400 rishis out of which some 40 rishikas were also there hinduism is the only religion which had uh, female prophets 40 prophets if you want to call them prophets i don't like the sound or ring of the word prophet because it means a person who is very keen to convert proselytize or kill and he is a pseudo saint he is not a real saint so this word prophetic religions these are dangerous religions so hinduism doesn't have any prophet but for want of a better word because english is such an important language rishi so 40 rishis and uh, uh, nearly 360 so roughly 400 rishis we are all descendants so uh, sc st we are all these are all names that the britishers have foisted on us Uh, so there is no inferiority no one is inferior we don't have caste that's a portuguese word that was foisted on us and like fools we have accepted it we have to get rid of this nonsense so anyway ah uh, uh, what next let us see uh, do you live dharmically or do you live by your convictions or do you just succumb and follow like uh, that man manmohan singh and quietly allow nonsense to happen in your presence do you get angry when something unjust is being done even if it is not in your presence do you speak your mind out politely uh, not rant and rave and uh, uh, shout obscenities no please don't do that you cannot be happy if you do that do you love children do you like to train children hmm? and uh, uh, as usual about sex uh, uh, if you do you think that sexual enjoyment is the greatest pleasure of life if that is what you think then you are again <laughs> lost Huh? Uh, can you enjoy sex without any sense of guilt huh? mm. are you a sensualist uh, do you enjoy the physical pleasures of life uh, all the senses all your senses are are they really having the best things of life mm. appreciating the little things uh, smelling the flowers going for long walks uh, smiling greeting people with jai shri ram not with the dumb good mornings which don't make any sense huh? do you smell uh, spread cheer do you spread sunshine do you spread smiles do you wear a smile 
all the time can you try that please if you don't please get some smile training even if it is a plastic uh, constipated artificial smile please put it on let people wonder and then they will smile spread sunshine spread smiles spread smiles mm. do you take long hot baths long ba- hot bath that's a lovely thing actually do you enjoy steaming yourself inhaling steam uh, do you learn new things keep learning new things every day something new or do you do things differently mm. if you fail do you get uh, obsessed about failure and feel depressed and all that mm. what next uh, can you tolerate you know bosses who are unreasonable <laughs> and somehow manage to keep doing your work how do you deal with such a tough boss mm. can, uh, life is meant uh, to be enjoyed do you agree with that yes or no and you have to teach people how to enjoy do you try teaching preaching do you envy others for their capacity to get things done or do you have any sense of jealousy do you covet jealous mm. what next ah uh, do you feel that deliberate indulgence in sex for the sake of pleasure is somehow sinful and wrong <laughs> we have kama sutra in hinduism okay so get over that stupid thing that's a christian concept eh uh, bonds in because sex and all that uh, they covered their uh, private organs with a fig leaf uh, they lived naked and after eating the tree of knowledge they realized that uh, they were male and female and then you see all this started from there so pure puritanism and prudery victorian values hinduism we don't have that uh, do you have at least a few good close friends have you written a poem short story haiku or painted a picture hmm? are you paid less than what you feel you are worth hmm? are you trying to augment your income do you have different stream streams of income um How many factors do you think are outside your control in your life or are you happy with how things are going on mm, do you love nice uh, wearing nice fine clothes good clothes colorful clothes not uh, do you like wearing colorful clothes mm. then let us see huh? uh, new experiences are you open to new experiences uh, taking your know, long walks and going to the beach and plunging into cold water and uh, trying keep new, new things you know uh, a life of sensation life of sensation do you read books hmm? do you read books how many books have you read have you which is your favorite book and after a tiring day do you feel happy that you've done a good day's work and do you do you re- do you think that people see you as original and imaginative do you think that people see you as an original person or an imaginary or are you a snob <laughs> foolishly following fashion set by the bollywood heroes or hollywood heroes or the rich and looking down on others i am an anti snob mm. uh, do you do you get genuine satisfaction doing housework and domestic activities cleaning decluttering mm. when faced with a new problem are you willing to take advice or do you go it all alone huh? vinadagun evvaru cheppina i i take everyone's advice think it out and then go ahead uh, do you think people respect you your social needs are they being met uh, physical needs uh, social needs security needs self esteem needs and self actualization are you on the highway to self actualization do you sometimes you know don't know how to pass time <laughs> that was the first question i am requesting god to increase the day time uh, from 24 hours to 25 to 26 time is not sufficient do you get bored sitting around doing not knowing what to do hmm? i think i'll stop here jai shri ram happiness is a state of mind and there is a nice diagram there look at that and rethink please listen to this and give me your feedback jai shri ram